What's up, y'all? We got our new resin in today. We're going to be testing Pro Marine Supplies Tabletop Epoxy, which is also a double for um, like an art epoxy. It's, um, I don't really know that much about it. I read a little bit, I've heard good things. Basically, we're just going to test it today. We're going to see how it goes. We've set it in some hot water for probably arguably a little bit too long so it's super liquidy on the hardener the resin is more the consistency that i would prefer it to be but when you mix it together it's, it smells like it smells it smells like it smells like it oh they have a super child proof thing in here and it's probably even Erica proof. Will you do this? I don't know how to do it. Thank you. So I've measured out how much resin I'm going to use which is probably going to be too much but we're going to see. We're going to see it together the first time live and in a living color. The colors that I'm testing are for a piece for Miss Judy and she likes teals, purples, peacock colors. So I know I've gone over this before, but it's crazy, super, super duper important to make sure that you mix right. your resin, hardener, and et cetera evenly uh, according to your instructions because it will never set if you do it wrong or it'll set too fast. So I'm going to give you guys my impression of this as I go and first impression is it's got a little bit of an odor. Nothing that's um, worse than anything I've ever used before. So it doesn't bother me that bad. Probably should wear a respirator and be in a ventilated area. But, you know, do as I say, not as I do. It does mix up really clear and evenly and it doesn't have that many bubbles in it, but that is more than likely because I have thinned it out so much by putting it in warm water, which I will link here. I hope that's on the screen. To my knowledge, the curing time and the pot life and the working time is comparable to everything else that we use. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see together. It seems like it mixes into itself really fast, which is also probably because we thinned it out so much. But when you mix your resin together, make sure you scrape the sides as you go and the bottom and you're stirring that's to make sure that you don't end up with any weak spots in your final piece Jeff is my lovely assistant today and he's getting my colors together all of the colors I will link in the description box below also it's raining today so I don't know if that's going to have anything to do with literally anything. This is Promarine, so in my head, I feel like it should be fine around like water and humidity, but that may be after it's set. No idea. Okay, we got some colors. Up. That's Cosmic Violet. It looks like it accepts the paint pretty well. 
This is an acrylic paint. It's pretty heavy bodied. May have spoken too soon. That's the paint that sometimes leaves chunks in there. Oh no, that was the, uh, that was the, you think this is going to be too close to the magenta? Magenta? For this one, we're also doing, I don't know if it's because I warmed the resin up or because we're mixing it into colors, but it's like warm. pretty smooth and it doesn't show that many bubbles. I'm really impressed by that, actually. Okay, we got teal, purple, that guy, we're doing the gold. do that much white because my reference photo didn't show that much white and I really like how it ended up looking. I guess you put some of this in there. In this one? Yeah. A little bit more. Right up. Okay. Now what? I, I just don't want it to look too similar to this one. It's not. It's, it's a dark purple. Whatever colors you put in there, just leave them, make sure you leave them out so I can link them. All right. I just made this color. I always like putting some clear down. That way the resin runs over the surface that you're pouring on more easily. That's a great color. What'd you put in there? The aqua. Introducing paint into that makes it set faster, which wouldn't be too crazy. Also, we prep this canvas twice to make sure that it doesn't dip too bad in the middle. I will link that somewhere. This is a good purple. And we're using Mayron Gold. Doesn't look that different, but it's a little darker. Mm -hmm. I see no bubbles, like no air bubbles. I know it's even after it thickened up on us, it's still. Did it really just encase the white right there, I guess? This is my favorite part of pouring. Oh my goodness, it's like bubbling through right here. There. My favorite port, port? My favorite port is the tilting. I'm scared. Okay.
That bright pink is like lost. I'm gonna add to it, but I just wanna take a second to see what these look like. It's crazy. It's not in focus, and I just touched that. Amazing. I was gonna say, take that and put it right here. Put it in where, where it was. I think it's gonna come back through a little bit. I hope she likes these rich colors. The white is just gone. You want it. I like this This is amazing right here. I know. Look at that. I almost don't even want to tilt it because I want it to stay. I think you should leave it. This looks great. Maybe blow in the center and just kind of make it. Like that? No. Blow in the center and then blow out. Just like that. I just wanted to do this on this side. Great. I would leave it. Just let me sell out this spot and then I'll be done with it. that up and then blow it. Looks a little busy, but when you get up close to it, it just I think, it all makes sense. Yeah. 
once it's on a larger scale, you think this is too? I think I it'll keep. It. I think it'll just it'll keep doing it. 